In this video, I scientifically test the heart rate accuracy of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. Now, when it was launched, many people were disappointed with the mediocre heart rate tracking of this expensive watch. In my tests, I saw the watch failing to record any heart rate at all for large parts of some exercises. Let's find out if this is improved after a major firmware update that Samsung recently released. I'll compare the Galaxy Watch 4 to the Polar H10 ECG chest strap, which is generally considered one of the most accurate consumer devices available for heart rate measurements. Let's start off with the accuracy during spinning. Here I displayed an overview of the heart rate accuracy during a total of five spinning sessions. Each dot here is a single heart rate measurement with along the horizontal axis the value according to the Polar H10 ECG chest strap and on the vertical axis the value according to the Galaxy Watch 4. The blue line indicates perfect agreement, so any measurement along this line at roughly the same value for the Polar H10 and the Galaxy Watch 4. The more measurements there are in a certain area, the darker black the color. As you can see, the Galaxy Watch 4 agrees pretty well with the ECG chest strap, however there are still a few points away from the blue line though. And we can see the same if we look at the individual spinning sessions. Along the horizontal axis we have the time and my heart rate is along the vertical axis. In blue I plot my heart rate according to the Polar H10 ECG chest strap and in red is my heart rate according to the Galaxy Watch 4. Now I took 5 short breaks in this spinning session where my heart rate would dip. For this ride the performance of the Galaxy Watch 4 is really good and the two lines overlap almost perfectly most of the time meaning that the heart rate of the Galaxy Watch 4 and the Polar chest strap agree very well. We see mostly the same thing for this second spinning session, however here in the beginning it missed a dip in my heart rate. Now this third ride here is almost perfect again, however for two of the rides it struggled a bit more, and this is one example of those. You can see that quite a few times it failed to pick up on my increase in heart rate, as you can see here, here, but also here. Now it could be that for this ride the watch wasn't positioned as well by accident so it couldn't get a good signal. Now we cannot be sure of that. Now this ride here also shows some issues, though not as severe, only for this segment here the watch was unable to pick up on my increase in heart rate. Now I should note that the Galaxy Watch 4 already performed quite well during my original testing for cycling inside and it was more during cycling outside that it showed some issues, and that is displayed here. If we put the old results and the new results for the new firm we're side by side for spinning, the old results here on the left and the new results here on the right, we actually see that the results for the old firmware might have even been better. As you can see on the left there appear to be fewer points away from the blue line, though of course it could just be a complete coincidence that for the new firmware it just happened to have more trouble tracking two of the rides. So this is definitely not conclusive evidence but just an interesting observation. So let's now take a look at cycling outside, did that improve at all or is it still pretty bad? The problem with biking I had before was that the Galaxy Watch would not record my heart rate for large parts of the ride. Here I displayed one of those rides for the old results. As you can see, for most of the middle of my ride it missed tracking my heart rate at all. Now very often it was less severe as you can see for this ride, however you can still clearly see that for some parts of the ride the values are missing. And we see the same here with at least two parts missing values. And sometimes it would happen that it would just record heart rate for a few minutes as you would see here. So here it seems that it only recorded my heart rate for about 4 minutes whereas the total ride was about 20 minutes. Let's look at the new results now. I tested the new firmware during 7 bike rides. Here we have the first bike ride with the new firmware. Now there are no major missing segments and the agreement between both devices is quite okay. Now we see something similar for this second bike ride and also for this third bike ride though the disagreement might be a bit bigger here. And this seems to be basically true for all bike rides. There's an okay agreement for the most parts. For some parts of the ride it's really good but for other parts it's not as good as you can see for instance here but also here. And we see the same for this last bike ride here. So there's luckily no longer any missing segments, but for some segments the agreement between the heart rate is not as good. If we actually put the old and new results side by side for biking, the old results on the left and the new firmware here on the right, I would say that the original firmware here on the left showed a slightly better accuracy, but it had many more dropouts, or in other words missing heart rate values. The algorithm likely dropped those values it had the least confidence in, which means it only kept those values it had the most confidence in. I would speculate that in the new firmware more results are kept in, but these are measurements the algorithm is less certain about. About. Of course this is purely speculation based on the results I got when testing it myself. Finally let's take a look at weightlifting. Weightlifting is one of the hardest things for a watch to accurately track since there's so much tension on my arm and wrist. Here I plotted those side by side for the old firmware and the new firmware. To my eye these graphs look more or less the same so their performance should be mostly the same though the new firmware might be ever so slightly better. If we look at the individual training sessions for the new firmware we see that the Galaxy Watch 4 does not perform that bad. It misses the highest peaks in my heart rate for each of the sets that I did but it's not as bad as some devices. We see something similar for the second weightlifting session though this is arguably a bit worse with it missing more of the peaks in my heart rate completely. And again we see something similar for this third weightlifting session. 
The latest firmware does appear to have brought some significant changes to the heart rate algorithm of the Galaxy Watch 4. This is most noticeable whilst biking, where the watch no longer shows missing heart rate measurements. However, what seems to have happened is that with the old firmware, it dropped quite a lot of the least accurate heart rate measurements, whereas now it has lowered its threshold and it shows more of the measurements. However, these heart rate measurements are of course going to be inherently less reliable. One could even argue that the old system was better, or alternatively it would be cool if the reliability of the different segments was shown in the graph. Overall, the heart rate measurements of the Galaxy Watch 4 are definitely not bad, and they will likely suffice for basic measurements during cardio exercises that do not involve too much bumpiness. However, they are nowhere near as accurate as the Apple Watch, which which is basically in a league of its own, I do think Samsung could learn a lot from Apple in that regard. If you want more content like this, consider subscribing and liking, and you might also be interested in some of my other videos. For instance, my video on the blood pressure monitor of the Galaxy Watch. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.